In this quick tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve or fix cumulative layout shift on Shopify. This is a very common problem. I'm going to be showing you guys step by step on how you can fix this problem. Okay, so probably you are wondering what is CLS or cumulative layout shift like CLS or cumulative layout shift is a metric that measures how much a web page is a, like unexpectedly shifts while it's loading. Okay. So that's exactly what, it, what it's like uh, the meaning of CLS. It like it's a metric that measures how much a web page ex unexpectedly shifts while it's loading. So it's important because it directly like impacts user experience. Our web page like uh, that shifts around can be frustrating for users so improving cls or cumulative layout shift makes your site more user friendly and can even like boost your search engine rankings okay so i'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix a uh, cumulative layout shift i'm going to be showing you guys multiple methods on how you can fix this and also i'm going to be showing you what may cause the problem okay you want to know exactly why you have uh like bad layout shift okay uh, what causes layout shift i mean okay so i'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix this problem before we start i would highly appreciate if you can drop a like on this tutorial and let's get started right now so like i said i'm going to be showing you guys a few solutions to fix this problem okay so the first uh solution is you need to add image size okay width and height you, by adding like width and height to your images shopify can load them correctly from the start so you won't shift things around when they appear okay so how you can do that easy okay so all you need to do guys you want to go to your online store here as you can see uh let's start in the left and after that you want to click on here three little dots next to customize here and you want to click on edit code okay so it's going to take you guys to this file as you can see now what you guys need to do you want to search here where it says filter files you want to search for this file it's called base.css okay so this is going to be different uh depending on your uh theme okay but it it ends the file ends in the uh, base that says it ends in that CSS. Okay, so this may be like style that CSS or custom that CSS or theme that CSS. So you want to find the file. Uh, for me, I am using down theme, so I'm it's called base that CSS. Okay, so what you guys need to do uh, first. You want to go to the description of this video and then you want to click on the link and it's going to take you guys to this page where you can copy a very simple code just copy this code um so that you can solve the this may cause like i said probably because of the image size that's the reason why you have uh, layout shifts okay so you want to copy that code and you want to go to base that says as like i said or style that says as and you need to scroll down at the very bottom you want to then paste the code there okay so you want to paste the code and after that you want to click on save now after guys you click on save now check if you still have uh, layout shift check your shopify products and see if you still have the problem or not now if you still have the problem then follow the steps i'm going to show you guys how you can fix this problem uh like i'm like i said i'm gonna show i'm gonna be showing you guys multiple methods on how you can fix this problem so you may be wondering why we have to add that code in base that says as file like the code ensures that the images are sized uh properly okay and don't push other elements around when the load that's the reason why guys uh, like you can see you can remove the code like if you see no different no difference in your store you can just remove the code it's easy just go back to the same file and you can start highlighting the code and remove it okay so that's exactly what you need to do if you want to remove the code if you notice no different okay no difference on your shopify store now another way guys is to clean up and use apps and code okay so if you have downloaded recently an app that for example like uh, the, the, like unused apps and left over code can like slow down your store like and contribute to layout shifts like to fix it you just need to remove unused apps like you just need to go to apps uh, on your shopify click on settings at the very bottom left and you want to click on apps and sales channels 
and then you will be able to find all the apps that you have downloaded here okay so make sure you remove any app you no longer use okay you can also like if, if you have downloaded an app that makes blanking uh like things on your shopify product page like uh, some moving elements it adds it, it injects a code in your theme that may cause the layout shift so you need to remove that app and see if you can fix the problem if the problem is resolved okay so another way is you want to go to uh like online store okay and you want to click on three little dots next next to customize and click on edit code and you want to go to theme uh, like that liquid okay you want to go to theme uh, theme sorry theme that uh, liquid okay so so the reason why you need to go to this file and then check if you have added uh, recently a code okay so I'm going to get here to theme that liquid and click on the file and you need to S like find any code that you have added recently that may cause the problem also like if you have changed the font on your shopify it might cause the layout shift okay so make sure you use fast fonts okay you can search on google for fast fonts on shopify and you will be able to find the name of fast font okay so also like you can use lazy loading uh lazy like if you don't know what it is like you can enable lazy loading okay so lazy lo loading means that images all load only when they are needed like such as when user scrolls to them this reduces the load time and prevents unnecessary unnecessary layout shifts okay uh, but for like newer uh, themes okay if you are using the last version of your theme I don't think you you have to like um, like uh, enable the layout shift because I'm sorry you don't need to enable like uh, lazy loading because it's already there okay so the, like shopify already automatically applies lazy loading so you don't need to do any any anything extra okay so but if you are using all themes you can then enable uh easy e like lazy loading on your theme if you don't know how to do that just let me know in the comments i will reply to you guys with a code that you can add on your theme so that you can enable yeah, like uh, lazy loading okay it's like uh, you can use like uh, it's called a website that really like helps you recognize where the problem is okay so let me let me just uh, think about it it like it's called um, uh, Google page speed insights yeah that's the name of the website that you need to search for like like it's a uh, for example it gives you the like uh, where the problem exactly where the issues are okay use like google speed uh like google speed insights it will give you like a detailed import uh detailed import of what's slowing your store down that's exactly what i mean causing the layout shifts okay so you need to search here for uh google okay google um uh, page page insights okay google page insights and you need to click on the first website as you can see here and you want to go to your shopify and click on settings and you want to copy the your store url okay and then go back and paste the url here and click on analyze okay make sure you select here desktop as you can see okay so then wait a few seconds and then scroll down and here you will find the com as you can see cumulative layout shift and if it's green that means you don't have any problem with CLS on your Shopify store but if it's red then you will have to fix the problems that will appear here as you can see these are one of the problems you have with your Shopify store for example in my case I am going to for example avoid an ex exclusive DOM size so you can click on that and you will it will give you a solution if you can also click on expand view here as you can see and you can see here the layout shift as you can see cumulative layout shift measures the movement of visible elements with the viewport so you can click on learn more about cumulative layout shift and you can find other solutions in order to fix the problem okay so the number which is like the uh, the number you should have is this as you can see less than this number as you can see okay so 
you can just click on learn more and you will be able to see the here as you can see uh, the number that is recommended as you can see here okay cumulative layout shift as you can see good it's less than 0 0.1 as you can see but poor it's more than 0 0.25 okay so you will have to have a number between these two okay so yeah if you have any question if you have any other questions let me know in the comments i reply to every single comment if if this problem is still there let me know in the comments guys and i will reply to you guys within a few minutes okay so see you guys in the next tutorial have a good day see you guys and drop a like and see you guys in the next tutorial